sorry y'all. I just started editing then I realized that I don't have an intro and that felt great. Today's sewing project is going to take inspiration from one of the corsets that Billy wore for her British Vogue shoot. Which corset you ask? The pink one. The pink corset. I believe it's by Gucci. And yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful corset. A bustier corset. Bustier corset. Which term is correct? Someone tell me. My favorite thing about that corset, all of them were great. But my favorite thing about that particular corset is that detail in the front. Loved it. Loved it loved loved it so let's get into it so this is the pattern i want to use once again ralph pink it is their piped front corset this pink satin and this combined with some other pink fabric is what's gonna be it's what i'm going to use to make the corset I'm gonna fold this so folded it in half so wrong side faces wrong side Each pattern I cut two in the satin fabric and then four in the lining fabric. Next I'm gonna cut interfacing. I'm going to cut four pieces of interfacing per pattern piece. So yes. I'll get back to you. A few moments later. So I've cut all the interfacing for all the pieces. And now we do the work of ironing. So when you're cutting the pattern pieces, you fold the fabric in half so that when you cut you get two of two similar pieces but opposites. Right? You can see that those are opposites. Great. So that's one pair. So like I said, I cut one pair in the satin fabric and then two pairs in the lining fabric and then two pairs of interfacing. Great stuff. I'm going to be ironing the interfacing on the, what did I call this? On the shell as well as one of the lining pieces. We start the work. Right. There is one. The interfacing adds stiffness to the fabric. While that's going on, I'm going to be trimming these. Okay. So they're pinned together the shell piece and the hearse lining piece. And I'm going to sew each of them along the sides. So I'm trying to figure out the boning channels. So my boning is about half an inch wide. So whatever channels we mark need to be 
about half an inch wide. This is the one that's going to have the eyelets. So I have to put boning on either side of the eyelets to give it structure. It's raining. Can you hear it? So I'm going to mark. The boning on one side. And then the half inch for the eyelets. Then the boning on the other side. So we're gonna go through the layers. And just put the boning in. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way up because of sewing. So we're gonna leave about half an inch on the top and the bottom. Oops, Got everything boned and arranged according to their letters A, B, C, D, and E. Now I'm gonna start putting it together. Pieces A. Those are the front two pieces. I'm going to put a zipper as the closure. I'm not gonna put it at the edge. I'm gonna put it about there. So I'm going to attach pieces B and C. So I've also sewn together pieces D and E. A, B, C here. And then D and E. Separate. So we're going to add that detail in the side. Next morning. I'm racking my brain trying to figure out how to create that strap in a way that follows the contour of the corset. And I think I finally figured it out using this fabric. I'm using this because I don't want any confusion between the actual lining and this thing that I'm using to create a pattern. So you got that. So what I'm going to do is to trace out pattern pieces A, B, and C. So I got A, B, and C. So I'm gonna sew those together. That's one side and it fits into the curve. So now I'm just going to cut out the shape of the triangular sheet. I want the belt buckle to be on this end, so I'm going to need this to be as wide. As here 
two inches. That should work, right? So this is So right sides together. So I'm going to sew this along the top and the bottom. And then this I'm going to sew round, but not on this edge, just round. So for the curved ones, I'm gonna snip around the curves. Take this. I'm marking half an inch. Okay, now we put it inside at that half inch mark. So I switched to a zipper foot just so I can get closer to this edge. Voila. Well, you can't really 
voila had to turn it around turns out it was backwards so resewing it now I'm gonna seal the ends using a flame. I'm sort of gliding it across. Not too close, but close enough. And that will stop any fraying. So I've put both of them and now I want to sew this closed at the back because um, so I brought down this belt to see how they put these things in and um, it's secured in its own slot so we're gonna do that. So there's what we got. So I'll put the holes in there later. But the next thing we are going to do is to attach it to the corset itself.
So we're going to attach the lining now. The line. So now I'm going to clip some of the ends because they're really thick. And then we're going to turn it. Was too hot and I burnt the fabric. <laughs> Gosh, I burnt it. So, um, feeling a tad bit discouraged right now, but uh, I have one of two options which are one, undo this, undo this. Where is the burn? Correction. So undo this panel because it is on one of the panels. So undo it, take it out, recut it, iron into piecing, rebone it, resew it, resew it. No. <laughs> no. So we're gonna go with option two, which is hide it. So I cut bias to finish off the bottom, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to use it also to finish off the top. So I'm going to pin it onto the back because I want to fold it towards the front.
Bye, have a great time.